Hey guys, I've, I've had some people ask me about what kind of rigs I use for fishing inshore uh, for specs and reds. And I'm going to kind of give you a rundown of, of what I use day in and day out. Okay, first off, I'm going to talk about my jig rod. This is one I use a jig head and a chicken board with. And that's the only purpose for this rod and reel. That's, that's all it ever stays on there. That's my, that's my bread and butter right there. That's what I catch my ton of fish. Anyway. The rod is a Waterloo Phantom, uh, and it's six foot nine. It's medium power, fast action. The reel is a six gill Hyperion in seven zero one ratio, and this reel is incredible. I really like it. It's fast. Uh, so far, it's been super reliable, even in salt water. And the line that I've got on there, I've got it spooled with Seaguar Red Label. Uh, 15 pound fluorocarbon and that way you don't have to have a leader it's always fluorocarbon I always use fluorocarbon but it's, I use a loop knot on everything even on uh, yeah everything I use a loop knot the action is just a lot better and uh, that's a chicken boy uh, psycho chicken chat so, anyway alright I'm going to move on to my other rod this is a dual purpose rod this is a hard bait rod basically. Uh, it's top water or twitch baits and that's what I'm going to use on it most of the time. Um, anyway it's also a six gear reel. Uh, this is the Creus model. Uh, seven zero to one. Uh, same gear ratio. But this one I've got spooled up with Finn's uh, wind tamer. 65 pound braid. No stretch because I like to make really long casts with top water. Anyway, the rod is a Manly Gold Series rod, and it's seven foot. It also will extend, to like seven foot six. Um, I like that because it's really it's really nice in the kayak. Because I, I usually typically use it something like that. I like a real short handle, but then if I hook a big fish, you know, I can easily with just with one hand come down here, pull that out to where I've got a little more leverage. Um, so that's a really good feature. That's the uh, the manly adjustable. Butt. Anyway, this rod is uh, medium power, and it's uh, fast action. And it's got the microwave guides. I don't know if you guys have ever check those out for American Tackle. Those are great. Uh, I really enjoy them. Anyway, that's the Prius and the manly. That's my hard bait rod, and also it's got a loop knot. Uh, I've got let's see. I've got a 15 pound fluorocarbon leader tied on, and it's probably about 10 feet long now. I tie a really long leader so that I don't have to keep, you know, retying it or whatever. It'll, it'll stay on there for a month or so before I have to, you know, eventually keep snipping it off. And it'll stay on there for a while. Anyway, well, that's that. And uh, I wanted to show you guys the new colors of the Chicken Boy lures that just came out actually being unveiled at the Houston Boat Show uh, in March. So here they are. This is, the three of these are called Los Polos Hermanos. And uh, Breaking Bad fans out there will recognize that. Anyway, this is the Perfecto Pink Polo. The Bone Diamond Polo. And this one, I think, is going to be killer on bass and on flounder. Amazing green polo. And that's what I got tied on here. That's uh, I'm going to try this out the next time we go fishing. So, anyway, those are the new colors from Chicken Boy. This is a root beer color. This is a custom color. Anyway, uh, go check those out at chickenboylures.com. Um, get on there and order some. And when you order, use the coupon code JJChicken and you'll get 10% off. Uh, that's my code, just strictly for my YouTube viewers. Well, guys, that's it. Um, I'm going to wrap it up. So, tight lines and God bless.